Don't mix these five vitamins. Surprising side effects. Vitamins are meant to help you feel healthier, stronger, and more energized. But here's something most people don't realize. If you take the wrong vitamins together, you could actually be blocking your body from using them properly. Think of your digestive system like a busy highway. When two vitamins use the same lane to get into your body, they can cause traffic jams, slowing each other down or even canceling each other out. And in some cases, taking certain vitamins together can create too much of a good thing, leading to unpleasant side effects. Today, we're counting down five vitamin combinations you should avoid, or at least take at different times of the day so you can get the most benefit from your supplements without the side effects. Number five, vitamin C and vitamin B12. Vitamin C is famous for boosting immunity, fighting free radicals, and helping wounds heal faster. Vitamin B12 is essential for keeping your brain sharp, supporting your nerves, and giving you lasting energy. Both are water-soluble vitamins, which means your body doesn't store them in large amounts. You need a regular supply. Here's the problem. High doses of vitamin C can destroy vitamin B12 in your digestive tract before it gets absorbed. A classic study published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition found that when taken together in large amounts, vitamin C can reduce the availability of vitamin B12, especially in people who already have low levels. Over time, not getting enough B12 can cause fatigue, memory loss, numbness or tingling in the hands and feet, and even balance problems. This is especially concerning for seniors who are already more prone to B12 deficiency because of reduced stomach acid production. Safe tip, if you take both, separate them by at least two hours. For example, take vitamin B12 in the morning and vitamin C later in the afternoon. This gives your body time to absorb the B12 before vitamin C enters the picture. Next on our list at number four, vitamin A and vitamin E. Vitamin A helps keep your vision sharp, your immune system strong, and your skin healthy. Vitamin E is a powerful antioxidant that protects your cells from damage. But here's the catch. They're both fat-soluble vitamins, meaning your body stores them in fat tissue and the liver. If you take too much of either, they can build up to toxic levels over time. Research from the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition shows that taking high doses of vitamin E alongside vitamin A can reduce vitamin A absorption. And when your body stores too much vitamin A, it can lead to headaches, dizziness, nausea, bone pain, and in severe cases, liver damage. Too much vitamin E, on the other hand, can increase the risk of bleeding, especially if you're on blood thinners. Safe tip. If you already take a multivitamin that contains vitamin A and E, check the amounts. For most adults, the recommended daily allowance, RDA, is 900 micrograms for men and 700 micrograms for women for vitamin A and 15 milligrams for vitamin E. Avoid adding extra high-dose supplements unless your doctor recommends it. Moving on to our list at number three, calcium and iron. Calcium is a must-have for strong bones and teeth, while iron is essential for carrying oxygen in your blood and keeping your energy levels up. But here's the catch. When you take them at the same time, calcium can block iron absorption in your intestines. One study in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition found that even small amounts of calcium, like what's in a single glass of milk, can cut iron absorption from a meal by up to 50%. That's a big deal if you have low iron or anemia. Think of it like this. Sprinkling sugar into coffee makes it dissolve easily. But if you dump in a big spoonful of cocoa powder at the same time, it clumps up and sinks. That's what happens when calcium and iron compete for the same entry points in your body. Calcium usually wins. And here's another tip. If you take iron supplements, have them on an empty stomach with water or a vitamin C rich drink like orange juice to help your body absorb more. Then take your calcium at a different time of day, preferably with food. We're halfway through our countdown, and if you're enjoying these tips so far, why not give this video a thumbs up? It really helps more people find this information. And while you're at it, hit that subscribe button and tap the notification bell so you won't miss any of our future videos. Number two, vitamin D and vitamin E in high doses. Vitamin D is like your body's calcium helper. Without it, your body can't absorb enough calcium to keep your bones strong. 
Vitamin E, on the other hand, is a powerful antioxidant. It protects your cells from damage caused by everyday wear and tear. Normally, they work just fine together. But here's the tricky part. When vitamin E is taken in very high doses, it may actually interfere with how well your body absorbs vitamin D. This matters most for older adults who are already at a higher risk of low vitamin D levels, partly because skin becomes less efficient at making vitamin D from sunlight as we age. Low vitamin D doesn't just weaken your bones. It can also lead to muscle weakness, poor balance, and a higher risk of falls. Think of it like this. Vitamin D is the person carrying calcium into your house. Vitamin E is a helpful friend, but if they show up with a huge moving truck and block the driveway, it's harder for vitamin D to get through. Safe tip, stick to moderate doses, about 15 micrograms, 600 IU for vitamin D and 15 milligrams for vitamin E, which is what most adults need daily. If you've been told to take high dose vitamin E for medical reason, try taking your vitamin D at a different time of day so they don't compete. Last but not least at number one, copper and zinc. Zinc plays a big role in keeping your immune system strong, helping wounds heal, and even making sure your sense of taste and smell works properly. Copper, on the other hand, is essential for producing red blood cells, keeping your nerves healthy, and helping your body make collagen for strong skin and tissues. The problem? They use the same doorways in your intestines to get into your bloodstream. If you take too much zinc, it can crowd copper out, leading to copper deficiency, which can cause anemia, low white blood cell counts, and even nerve issues. Flip it around, and too much copper can block zinc, which can weaken your immune system. Think of it like this. Imagine two people trying to get through a narrow doorway at the same time. If one keeps pushing through first, the other gets left outside. That's exactly what happens when zinc and copper compete for absorption. Safe tip. A good rule of thumb is a zinc to copper ratio of about 8 to 15 milligrams of zinc for every one milligram of copper. If you take them as separate supplements, space them out by a few hours. And the easiest option? Choose a high quality multivitamin. Most are already balanced, so you get the right amounts of both. Vitamins can do wonders for your health, but timing, dosage, and combinations matter. Taking certain vitamins together can reduce their benefits or cause unwanted side effects. To get the most from your supplements, always read your supplement labels. Avoid doubling up on vitamins that are already in your multivitamin. Space out competing vitamins during the day. And most importantly, talk to your doctor or pharmacist before starting any new supplement routine, especially if you have existing health conditions or take medications. Which of these combinations surprised you the most? Do you take any of these vitamins together? Let us know in the comments. We'd love to hear your thoughts. If you found this video helpful, give it a like, subscribe, and share it with someone who might benefit. You can also support our channel by checking out our merch or by leaving us a super thanks. Thanks for watching, stay healthy, and we'll see you in the next one.